Hey, hi you guys, Libra. Welcome to your general forecast. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. And remember to check out your moon and rising and Venus sign videos for a more complete picture. My readings, they do meld together. And Libra, I really like to thank you guys for supporting my channel. Those likes and subscribes and comments and the donations. Thank you so very much. It really helps me out a lot. Thank you. Today you're going to get five cards from the Rider Waite deck and one card from the Wisdom of the Oracle, which Libra, it's your card. And now here is your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Number seven of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Chariot. This can be a Cancer. Cancer could be in your chart or someone else's that you're dealing with. No, this has to do with control. It's a hard control, unlike the strength card, which is an inner and soft control. This has to do with success and control over the forces of nature. It's control over your own lower animal passions. It's success and triumph over money difficulties or enemies of any sort. It's putting commitment to the test. And it's a struggle or conflict of interest. Those two finxes are distractions, excuses, but you do have control. And victory is assured. This can also represent your car or transportation. It can be travel. It's going with the flow and a positive and quick result on the way. This is a fast card. And as a major arcana, these events are going to progress with or without your help and moving them along. The chariot always gets where it's going. And there will be success. And there's victory through your discipline and your confidence and using your words to have mastery over your own world. It's being purposeful and adaptable and brave and driven, disciplined, ambitious idealistic. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences, Libra. The Ace of Cups, Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is overflowing love and a divine gift. This is a new beginning. It's the beginning of great lo love, joy, contentment, productiveness, fertility, beauty, and pleasure. Brings in healing. And in this position, these energies are restricted. It's challenged. There's tension. This can be a clouded joy. It can be overflowing happiness that is delayed or is yet to come in. It can be an unexpected change in a position or even feeling unworthy of spiritual abundance. Your cup could be empty. You'll need to do some self-nurturing, Libra. You'll need to be replenished somewhere else. It's grounding yourself. It's instability. And it could be an inconsistency to nurture love. The chariot with the ace of cups is whatever direction you take, you will be happy. Your third card. This is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of, Libra. The ten of wands, fire energy. This is Saturn in Sagittarius. This is feeling overloaded, burdened oppressed. The major theme to this card is oppression. You've done a lot, and you're almost to the end of carrying this heavy burden. This is an overload and a need to bear up. It's feeling burdened by life. The tens are beginnings and endings. You've been working hard, and you feel weighed down. You could be feeling exhausted. 
to something you cannot let go. These are ambitious burdens, obligations. It's success and stress and feeling overburdened and resentful. It's putting work first and being task oriented. Someone may be unable to say no and they don't ask for help. This is an intense approach and overwork. This problem is soon to be solved. The chariot with the Ten of Wands is an uphill battle. It's burdens and overcoming challenges and powering through. Your fourth card. It's the card of the future, the outcome, the results. Here's your prediction, Libra. The Page of Swords, Air Energy, Aquarius, Gemini, you, Libra. Now this is someone that is looking back over their shoulder. They're vigilant, watchful, wary. They're investigating. This can be a communication. News. This is someone that wants to know more. The winds of change are here. These can be fast messages and communications, and it could alert you to the truth. This page gathers information, and they have a thirst for knowledge, a curious mind, and they have new ideas. They're clever and quick-witted. Could also someone be, 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 they could be behaving in a risky manner. They could be spying over the internet. There may be nervousness and anxiety or making excuses and changing plans. That's the norm for the Page of Swords. Someone could be manipulating communication or twisting their tail. You'll need to use strategy and analyze to confront anyone else. This can be the overconfidence or ignorance of youth that can cause strife. It's a risky communication. It's still in the exploratory stage. This can be a message that provides a lesson. The chariot with the page of swords is pushing things forward and staying vigilant. It could be controlling immature communication. This is someone direct with words and staying in control. Now, pushing forward too quickly could cause problems. Your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen. It's because it's something that you're not oh, uh, sharing with others. Yet you are consciously aware of this, Libra. Number 14 of the Major Arcana. Temperance. This card is ruled by Jupiter. This could be a Sagittarius. Sagittarius could be in your chart or someone else's you're dealing with. This is adjusting and tempering and using patience and compromising. It's using coordination and self-control and modification. It's working in harmony with others and compromising instead of battle. And it's taking the middle path. It's having control over your own life and never going to one extreme or the other. And what you have imagined will come to pass. This is an alchemy card, and successful combinations will be achieved. It's being moderate and taking the middle way. It's seeing both sides of the story and sharing control. It's taking your time to adjust. Being accommodating and patient, tolerant, adaptable. It's integrating opposites, consolidating. It's accepting the good and bad within yourself and making it work, and finding a balance between two sides and leaving the excesses behind you. You can be a peacemaker, and you can blend and avoid extremes. And there is a caution to have patience and await calmly, even if it seems like nothing is happening. There's really no, no more you can do now. Everything's already been set into motion. You just have to sit back and relax and watch things play out around you. The chariot with the temperance card is control and patience over emotions. It can be moving or traveling a distance. It could be even a long distance. It could also be someone re-entering society. 
the Ace of Cups with the Ten of Wands. This is overflowing love being suppressed or oppressed. It can be creativity blocked. It could also be a busy routine. The Ace of Cups with the Page of Swords is acting on emotions all the time. These are new feelings. It's spiritual intuition and emotional and restless mental energy. The Ace of Cups with the Temperance card is spiritual work. It's channeling spiritual information. It can also represent the arts. It's adapting to new overflowing feelings. The Ten of Wands with the Page of Swords represents being defensive all the time is a burden. The Ten of Wands with the Temperance card is feeling bogged down. Someone may have one foot in and one foot out, and that will not create the balance that you seek. This is not a means to an end. The Page of Swords with the Temperance card is a message that leads to compromise. It's a communication of truth and having to have patience. Here's your Wisdom of the Oracle card by Colette Baron reed Card number 38. To be fair, Libra, this is your card. Card number 38, which equals 11, which is the Justice card. To be fair. Balance. Justice. A need to consider options. Mutual benefit and the law of cause and effect. Life offers experiences that are challenging and experiences that are nourishing, yet over time they strike a balance. You move from being, from stasis, to doing, from discovering, to loving, to letting go, to being again. Life is a pendulum, swinging between all of these states and you will always oscillate back and forth between doing and being. If you are not content with where you are at this moment, remember that all experiences have their place. Accept them without judgment, and you will see how the universe adjusts in perfect balance. That's like the temperance card, too. You reap what you sow. For every cause, there's an effect. Wondrous things will be revealed now. Thanks, you guys, Libra. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you guys out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.